Hi everyone, it's me, obviously, Edward Avila. <laughs> Welcome to Be Me On Air! Woo! Woo, we're shopping in Korea, yay! <laughs> I'm Edward, and I'm here today with, I need to introduce the host, obviously. Miss Moon Yewon, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, okay. Hello everyone, my name is Yewon Moon. I am a Korean actress and it's an um, honor for me to be with you on Be Me On Air episode 1. Thank Yay! You. Let's you. have fun. Today, we are going to be talking about Clio, which is a brand in Korea that's very, uh, very famous, clearly. Yeah, it is a very famous um, cosmetic brand in Korea. Mm -hmm. So it's what do we us. have? I see a lot here. We have a. Uh, we're all we're focusing focusing on eyes today, pro eye palette, um, as well as some eyeliners and. Lots I see some eyebrows. Eyebrow pencils and also from their brand. Twinkle Pop. Twinkle Pop Jelly yeah. Glitter Trio. Which I don't. I mean, it doesn't say Clio, but I know because when I originally bought these, I actually went to the Clio store and that's where they sell them. But uh, we'll just call them Twinkle Pops. First product, the Pro Eye Palette. These were already popping before that anyway. Uh, but we have two colors here today. If the chat was working, I would ask everyone which one, because I'm going to do my makeup first and then after I'm going to do your makeup. So I was going to ask everyone to pick the color pick, for you. But, which is cute. You can actually do your, you, you can do your whole eye makeup with a brush, but it is tiny. It's so small. So I think it's better for like point makeup, like glitter or like shimmer. I like but it. This, this palette doesn't really have like a shiny base color so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna take this color right here yeah it's kind of mauve kind of like a mauve tone and also mix this color so it's not too dark <laughs> these sorts of glitters are actually different from i guess other ones like eyeshadow because these are actually glitters suspended in like this sort of gel cleo has so many eyeliners and living in korea for so long i've noticed them always changing them. But the two that we have today, and you can kind of just think of it, the main difference is that the size, there's the waterproof pen liner mm -hmm. from Clio. And then we have the sharp, so simple, is that what they call it? So simple waterproof pen liner, the sharp one. The main difference between the two basically is that it's just the size of the pen. If you're, cause you were saying you have trouble drawing liner, so you'd like the smaller one. Mm -hmm. This is the smaller one. Well, actually, I've used the clear eyeliners mm. um, for myself, for my eyes. And the good thing about clear eyeliner that I can tell you is they stay very long. Honestly, Clio does not want to come off. Yeah. I mean, I don't wear eyeliner, but sometimes, you know, you know, I don't know if this is you, but before you set to like wash your face, you like play around with makeup because you're going to wash your face anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'll like put all this crazy eyeliner on and Clio just doesn't want to come off. I, I like it. Which is good because you want obviously you don't want it to like fall here. Yeah, I I want my eyeliners to stay all day long. <laughs> I love plush. <it. laughs> if we're talking about color makeup, and I'm not, I'm not just saying it's just because we're talking about it today, but I really do think this is a good place for both starters and people that love makeup already. Mm -hmm. Because I wish I could show you the other colors because because these palettes are actually kind of more like light, it's not really light, more like on the natural side. They have more like deep palettes. But you have a range, a good range of like mattes and like both light and medium and there's some deep matte shadows in there as well as glitters and shimmers. So I feel like this is a good place to start because you can go from daily to more nighttime makeup. Like party makeup? Yeah, because I, I, never, I never do nighttime makeup. I'm never, I do my makeup in the morning and I'm done. I'm not redoing it, but this kind of palette. Because mm -hmm. you can start with like more natural colors for like, oh, for during the day and then you can slowly as you're learning more makeup you can build some the more stronger colors in here what do you think about the clio foundation cushion the clio foundation cushion have you ever tried it i uh, i did use the clio cushion i would recommend clio cushion for the like um the, um, the people who have like oily skin I yeah because they last a long time yeah um but even they have more like dewy glowy hydrating foundations mm -hmm. but there's so, the thing with clio is that all their stuff is full full coverage so the reason I like full coverage is even if you have really good skin already, you can just use a little bit and you can adjust how much coverage you need. If you have you know, bad skin, you can use a little bit more. If you have really good skin, you can still get a good finish, but you just use less. So that's why I like clear. But sometimes if you have a sheer foundation 
like a light foundation that doesn't have much coverage. Yeah, they like, tend to have like very low coverage. Low coverage, but it's harder to do things with it. Like, mm -hmm. well, one day maybe you need more coverage, but you can't do that with the sheer foundation. With Clio, it's a little bit more customizable. Uh, if we're talking about these palettes, they have another one that I really like, the brick one. Brick Street, I believe. Um, those have more really, uh, not just deeper colors, but more like saturated colors. When it comes to deeper skin tones, you want to go for more color in them. If there's too much white in the shadow, it can look like, make your eyes look more like Like swollen and swollen, yeah. popped right? up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, if you go look at the Brick Street one, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Actually, I used mostly the powder for as a base to make a shadow on the eyebrow to kind of map out the shape. And then use it. Why? That's what I do. Yeah, it's a, it's a very like Korean thing, I think. Uh, especially a lot of artists do it. So you use a powder for base, and then a pencil to like kind of draw the fake hair, or like really fix the shape, or fill in empty spots. But if you don't have a powder, you can just use um, the pencil lightly, and then you use a screw brush to brush it out. It's kind of like the same thing. So with coral talk. Let's see. There's a shade in here because I'm gonna put more glitter on you. I'm gonna use this kind of. It's very hard to see. I will show you on her eyes. You can barely see it, but it's a very faint kind of like very faint coral shade that has like a gold undertone. I like to use those as a base for glitter, mm -hmm. like heavy glitter. So I'm gonna start here. <gasps> Poor Sujo. I like it already. So a lot of people avoid using shimmer for like their base, but I think it looks pretty sometimes depending on how you use it. The thing is though with Charlotte's eyes, they're so like Big, pretty, and defined. She doesn't really need it. So now we're gonna get into the glitter because ah! that's what we're here for. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. So here's the three colors. Which one are you gonna use? We've got a more like cool tone white that has like blue undertones in in the glitter. We have a more like warm pink, a light warm pink, and then we have a more purple tone. Mm, these are the three colors. Why don't you guys choose? Someone said warm pink. This is one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Our hands. <gasps> oh my god. That's the first one? Mm. Okay. <laughs> this is number two. Number but when you actually see it, there is a difference and between, those, uh, between those colors. So there's three. Oh honey. Look at that. It looks you know what this looks like? It looks like the glitter glue back in like oh, yeah, elementary like, school when you decorate like your your crafts. So again, with um, if you want to put more on the lid, I use a brush like this. <gasps> Doesn't she look like a cosmetics model in Korea? I think that's it. This kind of brush is really good. Do you see the shape? Mm. It's kind of like round, but like slightly pointy at the tip. I feel like it kind of covers all your bases in terms of like basic eyeshadow application. It doesn't move throughout the day because it is the gel. It, once it dries down, it doesn't really move. That's a good thing. It's just the only bad thing I would say is how hard it is to remove uh, if you don't have a decent eye makeup remover. If that ain't a party look. I think it looks really pretty, but I even feel like you guys watching at home would have a hard time seeing it, especially the really pretty blue uh, kind of purple shade to it. I put so much. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but personally, I think it looks pretty. I think, though, what I would do, though, is put a slightly longer eyelash. Ah. Oh. Just to balance it. Mm -hmm. Because when you put a lot of glitter like this, suddenly your eyelashes and your eyeliner look small. Should I touch up your eyeliner, though? Should we use the eyeliner to uh, kind of punctuate it? Because I put so much glitter. To, because it's so shiny, it makes her eyes look more like blurry, if that makes sense. So I think eyeliner helps ground it. Help you? Oh, oh! You saw it here, everyone, live, right here on Be Me. I messed Hi. up her eyeliner. A good beginner K-Beauty eyeshadow. Honestly, I keep talking about this, but this literally works great for both beginners and professional, like a professional or more like people Makeup lover. Makeup lover. Ooh. Which I think is a really unique color to have, which I was like living because it's like a really wow. pretty. The packaging makes it look like it's going to be like a pink, but it's it's definitely a pink brown, but it's has its depth to it, which is good for eyeliner, of course. 
the best thing about this, they stay very long. Very long. Also, if you make a mistake, that will stay very long. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, there's this packet. Mm -hmm. <gasps> eyebrow packet. Cleo has really great eyebrow products as well. I um, switch all the time between shadow brow, shadow for my eyebrows and pencil, but these, when I originally tried them like a long time ago, I was hooked on these for a long time because it's just so easy. This the hard. This had a different name before, but now it's the auto uh, auto hard brow pencil, five shades, and it's just a brow pencil, but it has this like kind of sword shape. Mm -hmm. So when you're drawing your brows, it is hard, so you kind of have to warm it up. And actually, like these eyebrows, I've used this as well. Mm -hmm. And when you apply on your like eyebrows, like real eyebrows, instead mm -hmm. of your hand, um, the color comes up more color mm, of these eyebrows. Maja, yeah. Can you swatch the eyebrow pens? Oh, you want to talk about the eyebrow pens? This? Yeah. Um, we have three types of <gasps> eyebrow tattoo pen. Mm. Well, I've heard of it, but I've never used it before. It's their tattoo line. So when you open this box, there is this um, tattoo pen and there is remover, remover in it. Which is interesting because, I mean, if you're putting a tattoo eyebrow, why would you want to remove it? But I think it's because if you make a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this eyebrow pen, uh, the tattoo pen, has two sides. Mm -hmm. One side is more like a sort of chisel, chisel shape. So you can, I think you can use this for more filling in the whole shape in general. And the other end is a more sharp thing to kind of, more sharp thing, more sharp shape to get like the kind of real brow hair looking thing. Can you swatch it, the eyebrow pens? Let's see. I, Charles like, no, you do it. This is the gray one. Oh. So it's more of like a green undertone, which makes sense for this type of color. When it comes to eyebrows, they have like this green undertone, which is super important. Um, yeah. <gasps> this is a really pretty color. This is remember, this is another color. That was natural brown. They come in three. Yeah. And then the last one is light brown. These are really good colors. There you go. I'd say if you have blonde hair, maybe this one. Uh, honestly, I feel like this one, because it's a good in-between, anyone can use this one, depending on, you know, if you have like lighter hair, maybe you might want like darker brows. This is a good option. And then this one for much darker eyebrow hairs. After you put on your more natural base, if you're using something like this kind of eyeshadow, I would stick to colors like this. Nothing too far from your natural skin tone. It depends on your skin tone, of course. You, you wanna look for shadows that are more suited to you, but um, I, I, even for natural, I don't mind like a shimmer, one shimmery eyeshadow on the lids. I think that looks really pretty. And because it works with the natural glossiness of the skin, it looks natural, even though it's like a shimmery eyeshadow. Um, thank you so much, even though we had a little, a, roughy, a little bit of a rough start. I think that was fun. It was really fun. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Edward. Thank you, everyone, for coming and the people that uh, joined the chat. Thank, thank you, you for, everyone. Thank you for making <laughs> feel like it, somebody cares. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. 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 Annyeong. Annyeong.